Hi, welcome to my workshop here today. And the theme for today, for this thought, is the light of the world. In Isaiah 9 verse 2 it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned. How amazing! That great light is Jesus Christ the Messiah. He has come into this world to be the great light in a dark world where so many bad things happening. We've seen it in the news, not only the virus, but also violence and, and so on and so forth, racism and so on. And we see that Jesus has come to be that light of the world. But he also chooses us to be the light of the world. Now you might be wondering why am I sitting in my workshop here today. I um, actually will be making a little candle holder as a symbol, you know, of that light. And I've chosen this piece of wood here. <clears throat> it is from a cherry tree. And I want to point out to you that it is not a perfect piece of wood. It has got lots of cracks in it, as you can see. Some blemishes here on the outside, as you can see. And what I will be doing is I will be making a candle holder. I'm just being going to cut off a little bit here and you can watch me as I do it. But um, the interesting thing to note is that it says in Matthew that uh, you are, Jesus is saying, you are the light of the world, Matthew 5.14. That is me and you. So we all are light of the world. We don't need to be perfect, you know, just as that piece of wood is not perfect. We don't have to have it all together to be a light. We can all be a light in this world. Now the, the passage in Matthew carries on and Jesus says, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. That's in verse 16. Now the big question is how do we actually let our light shine? Especially at this time it might not be so easy. Now we um, we let our light shine, and let, I will just light this candle holder now. It is finished. The candle is in here, as you can see. We let our light shine by really being kind to other people doing things for other people if they can't do it themselves or just you know for them especially at this time we can um, put a car through somebody's door who is lonely my wife has been um, doing that especially with one lady here who lives in our street who has to really nobody at this time then we can uh, ring somebody who's lonely we can be a light by um, giving some money to some people who need it or to a good cause. We can give with what we have and these are all the good deeds Jesus is talking about and I think even more so that we can act <clears throat> in the opposite spirit. If somebody is not nice to you, you can be extra kind to that person and try to bless them. If somebody tries to take things from you or steals from you, you can give them something in return. So we can basically be lights and be acting in the opposite spirit um, than the world would operate. You know, here in the world people just want to get and get, but we can be the opposite to give and give. Uh, and you know, that's what Jesus um, did and that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to shine as a light, just like this candle holder here now and is kind of lighting up here in this little workshop. We should light up the area where we live um, for Jesus really and finally the last thing is what Jesus says here that they will see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. The aim is that those people we are shining our light to 
or we are being a light, will come to know Jesus Christ and will praise Him too. Let your light shine today. And I just pray that we, God would help us to do so. Lord Father, we just pray that you would help us to let our light shine today for your glory and for your name's sake. Amen.